Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel. And in today's video, I will show you how I use Google Drive to back up the files from my computer. I just spent the most exasperating week and a half trying to use the built-in Windows tools to back up the files on my computer to a two terabyte external hard drive. So just bear with me a second for the short ramp. Microsoft really could not make this process more confusing if it tried to. First of all, the backup tool on Windows 10 is now called File History, which allows you to set the files you want to save and the place where you want to save them, but I could not under any circumstances get it to run automatically with any reliability. I set it to run every 10 minutes, which resulted in several backups throughout a day, but definitely not on a 10 minute schedule. And because you couldn't specify when you wanted it to run, it seemed random and unreliable. And then it quit working altogether without notifying me, which I found slightly terrifying. In addition to this, Microsoft also has included its Windows 7 backup tool, which is yet another separate way to save files. I had both of them turned on and neither of them were working. And believe me, over the course of four to five days, I tried everything. So the thing is, I don't really keep a ton of things on my computer. Since I mostly use cloud-based services like Evernote, Google Drive, and Gmail, most of my work is already stored up in the cloud and it syncs automatically to my computer. Thus, when I happen to fry my computer, like I did recently by accidentally pouring an entire cup of coffee on the motherboard, I didn't lose most of my important stuff. However, there are some things that reside only on my computer that I would have liked to have a backup of. After many days of trying to get the Windows tools to work, I gave up. I also tried a couple of software solutions and they were either too buggy, too complicated, or they didn't save the files in an accessible enough way for my taste. So I started to think that a cloud-based backup was what I really needed. I was slightly salty about this since they tend to cost anywhere from six to $10 per month. Since the cost is based on how much storage you need, I decided to create a spreadsheet to determine what information was really important to me. I suggest you do this as well so that you can tailor your backup solution precisely to your needs. So for example, I have folders and folders and folders and folders of YouTube material. Now, all of my actual videos are obviously stored in YouTube's servers, but the raw materials, the image files, the video clips, etc., that I use to make them are all stored on my computer. It's about 90 gigabytes worth of data. So I don't access those files frequently and I don't really need them taking up space on my computer, but I would like to keep them just in case. So my solution for all these files was to offload all of these folders, except for those created within the past three months onto my external hard drive. I can access them if I need to, but I really don't need them to be backed up frequently since I don't make changes to the files once the videos are uploaded. Uh, my Evernote data is on my computer, but it's also backed up to the Evernote server. So that's enough backup for me. So when it comes right down to it, I really only have about 20 to 30 gigabytes of data on my computer at any given time that I would like to have backed up. So the good news is that I already pay for data from Google. For $2 per month, I get 100 gigabytes of space. Since I'm only using a fraction of that for Gmail, Google Photos, and Google Drive, I still have plenty of space left over to also back up the information on my computer. So let me walk you through that process. First, you're gonna to need to download the Google Backup and Sync app. So I already had this installed on my computer since I was using it to sync my Google Drive files down to my computer. Now, I wanted to also sync my computer files up to my Google Drive to use that as my backup storage. So if you open up the preferences of Backup and Sync, Settings is the area where you're gonna log into your appropriate Google account. The Google Drive tab is where you check the box to have everything in Google Drive synced down to your computer, which is what I was doing before. My laptop, or maybe computer in your case, is where you choose the folders from your laptop to have backed up to the Google Drive cloud. So you hit this choose folder link down here and one by one, choose each folder on your computer that you want to have backed up. If you pick the documents folder, it will back up everything in that folder. If you don't want all of them backed up, then you have to choose the subfolders one at a time. Once you have identified all of them, you wait for Google Drive to do all of this backing up. It will take some time if you have a lot of files, like hours or even days. One other thing you'll need to pay attention to, this question under Google Drive wants to know how you want to handle files that you have already backed up to Google Drive, and then you subsequently delete off of your computer. So there are three options. Always remove both coffee, copies, never remove both copies, and ask before removing both copies. 
If you want to keep things on Google Drive that you don't want on your computer, you should have it set to never remove both copies. Since I wanted my files on my computer and the files backed up to Google Drive to be identical and synced, I have it set to always remove both copies. So after everything backs up for the first time, when you go into Google Drive underneath your My Drive folder, you should now have a computers folder. And within that should be a folder for your computer, in my case, my laptop. Then all of my backed up folders are beneath that. This works perfectly for me since I want to have easy access to my backed up files. I don't have to pay more money since it's easily covered by the storage that I already buy from Google. And it's in a spot that I already visit frequently since I use Google Drive for almost everything. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.